Hey everyone, this is Joy Paris with RichGoldNetwork.tv here for the screening of Stand Against Evil. And of course, where else could we be the most appropriate place for the screening? The Hollywood Forever Cemetery. So stay tuned and keep watching RichGoldNetwork.tv. Well, congratulations, Dana, on this Thanks. awesome, I can't wait to see it. I'm a horror fan myself, so oh, I'm great, excited. Oh, great, great. Thank you very much. Were there any moments where you thought, okay, I'm going too far afield, or should I rein myself in? What was that like? Uh, yeah, well, it was tricky because for the show to work, this horror stuff is unaware that there's comedy going on. The horror stuff is really scary, and the comedy is there because the characters are behaving normally. They're not right. behaving in a stylized way. And it got really tempting to make the monsters funny. Like, you think, oh, that would be so funny, but you can't. And I was always slapping, like, nope, can't do that, nope, can't do that. Uh, and then it would be really funny, and uh, as I think up, knock wood ideas for season two. Um, I like to combine, like, what's a really great horror movie? What's a really great screwball comedy? How can I put them together? And, and have two separate stories going at the same time. That's what I think the show does really well. Um, there's uh, an episode uh, later in the season where three goth kids mm. come to town and inadvertently raise a demon, oh, and it. uh, and it's yeah, it's really funny because it's 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 they're ridiculous, <laughs> but it's also really scary. For real horror fans will recognize it as the quiet remake of Taste the Blood of Dracula that it is. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a great way to combine all that stuff. It wasn't hard for me to write. Did you have a specific look that you were going for when you decided to do this? What was that look? Yeah, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. Okay. And I grew up watching like all those, the Night Stalker, Night Gallery, Last House on the Left, Let's Scare Jessica yeah. to Death. And I really wanted it to have that late 70s, 80s kind of vibe and, and they did a brilliant job I had nothing to do with that aspect of it um, but like they drive old cars but they have cell phones and the internet There's, it just takes place in a weird timeless kind of quality but it really feels like you're flipping the channels late at night and you've found an old night gallery that's what I wanted it to look like well before that you leave describe your film and you have three words what would it be three words to describe stand against evil oh um, three good ones Scary, funny, short. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dana. Thank Congratulations. You. you can also say the same for me. Okay. <laughs> My character is Deputy Leon Drinkwater, and I am the deputy at, at the Willardsville Sheriff's Department. Meet. And I've been that deputy for some time. Unfortunately, my boss, whoever my boss may be, in this given instance it was Stan here who's next to me, um, all the sheriffs, all my bosses have suffered an untimely end. There's a curse uh, on those who hold the uh, office of sheriff in, in Willard's Mill. So I have uh, really I have been luck lucky enough to kind of witness uh, that curse, um, but I've escaped its uh, harmful effects. Um, Spoilers, we don't we want to know what happens, so we can't wait to see it. It's, it's so cool. I love stories like this. I love horror films. So when you got this script and you read the thing in the role, what were you trying to bring to the role? Like, did you, what did you look at? How did you prepare for it? Well, uh, Dana did such a wonderful job of. Uh, of, of creating such a goofy innocence with my character Leon, um, and uh, and so I just instantly locked onto the humor, um, and uh, and the, you know the the, uh, the funny things that the bachelor that Leon is, uh, you know, uh, says and does, and, and the faux pas that he commits. Uh, he's a really sweet character who's uh, lucky to have a little bit of community, even if that is just the, the sheriff. Office. Sheriff's office. Uh, life. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I, it was it was you know I, I have to kind of bring the audience up to speed a little bit about the curse, and right. so um, it was really fun to play kind of like the lone survivor, you know, like this before. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the one that's still alive, uh, and it's fun to kind of carry that into to every episode. So you had a great team to work with. I mean, so how was it like working with these amazing actors? Oh, so it was uh, absolute wow. treat. Yeah. Right. I'm a, uh, John is a legend and, and grew up watching him and continue to watch him. Um, and we couldn't have, uh, we really lucked out in having him. Uh, and you know, the audience will see it. But it's, uh, he's perfect. And, uh, um, and Deborah and, 
uh, and Janet. Uh, no, uh, I love them all, and I uh, hope we get to do it all again. Yeah. What did you learn about yourself doing this role? That I can grow a mustache. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of hard to do for guys, right? Well, you know, I mean, I, I'm no spring chicken anymore, and uh, I thought that at this a certain point, like I figured, like you know, if, that if you if you if you can't grow it by 30, it's not in the cards. And uh, so I haven't really given it a shot. But then the, the character uh, Dana, uh, he wrote the character with a mustache, and uh, and I wore a fake mustache into the audition, which I recommend. I, I, I recommend every uh, actor to uh, to not to be too afraid to wear a fake mustache. You have to give us a timeline. So how long did it take to grow the mustache? It took me uh, uh, like two and a half months. It's not. A, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, but it, you'll see. I think it's a fully professional but mustache. You have to live in, in the in between stages. You know that in between. It's tough. It's, tough. it's a lot of a lot of tugging on things and. Um, I tried to, uh, to just to, to stick, stay in the garden at home and not go out too much during those periods. But uh, yeah, I was really proud of that. Maybe next year it'll be. A, I'll go after a beard. So. Describe the show. Three words. What would it be? Make something super scary and funny as hell. Um, dealing with demons. Dealing with demons. Stand against evil. Congratulations. I can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hi everyone, and that's the same the movies. That's a wrap. What a great night we had here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery for the screening of Stand Against Evil, hosted by IFC. Stay tuned and keep watching RichGirlNetwork.tv.